G'day, my name's Anthony Stanislavski. I'm the author of Phrasing and Freedom with Brushes. And today I'm going to show you how to play a gallop. Now before we get started, I'd like to mention my free masterclass. In this I demonstrate lateral techniques, grooves, rudimental applications and much more. So if you're new to brushes, check out that video. It's the first link in the description below. If you're playing a swing pattern with brushes, once you start getting past the 280 BPM mark, things start to get a bit challenging. So what I like to do is cheat. There's this pattern called the gallop that uses both the right and left hand to produce the swing pattern. So that's what I'll show you today. So we'll start nice and slow and we'll focus first on the right hand. The right hand plays an outward sweep on beats one and three and an inward sweep on the and of two and the and of four. You'll notice that the outward sweep stays on the head and produces a nice sweep sound and the inward sweep bounces off the head. The left hand plays clockwise circles and accents on beats two and four at the bottom of the drum. Now I'll put both hands together. In swing drumming, it's a good idea to feather the bass drum on all quarter notes. However, once you get past 300 beats a minute, it's pretty difficult to keep this up. So to add on to the cheating aspect, I like to just play the kicks on beats one and three. I'll also add the hi-hats on two and four. Now let's start pushing the tempo.
And now I'm going to demonstrate the gallop with a backing track at 320 beats a minute. This particular track comes from my book Phrasing and Freedom with Brushes, and I'll leave links to that down below. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.